Which role in Red Dead Online is the most profitable? And of course the answer to this question is depends on what do you mean by profitable. Profitable in terms of gold or dollars or dollars per minute or dollars per day. Anyway, I've calculated average income for each role and I will show you these numbers and we will decide. Let's begin with the collector's role. In my opinion, unless we are using the interactive map, there is no real way to calculate the average income for this role, because it's too random. So we will be talking about the profit from the collector's role with the use of interactive map. Link will be in the description. And of course for this role and for any other role we will be talking about the income on the maximum level when you have all the improvements and upgrades. If you wanna get maximum profit with the use of collector's interactive map I don't suggest you to collect eggs and flowers. Eggs because they will be often broken, glitched and there will be no way how you can get this specific egg. And flowers because some flowers are available only during the night time. So it's not gonna be always possible to include these flower spawns to your optimal route. Plus these two collections are not really expensive, so just don't bother. Anyway, gathering 12 out of 14 full collections will give us $3,850. For an average player it would take 5 hours to gather all these collections. I get this data from comments under my videos, from my Russian language Discord server and from my personal experience. I know there are players who can gather all the collectibles in a little more than 3 hours and on the other hand many players will spend 8 hours for this process. But we are talking about the average numbers. Anyway, this leads us to a profit from collector's roll of $770 per hour, which is quite a lot. Plus, during this run you will earn more than 10,000 experience points per hour. And don't forget that unlike in any other role you are not afraid of disconnects because it's not gonna ruin your process or griefers because you will just switch session and continue your grind. Also you don't have to worry that some bugs or glitches will ruin anything for you unless you gathering eggs of course. The final benefit is that you will visit some good looking places that you never knew about. Now let's talk about the negatives. You won't earn any gold during this process. But that's a common problem with all the roles except Bounty Hunter. Second, you will be able to grind this way only once in 24 hours real time. But I'm not sure whether it's a big problem, because I don't know if there are many people who would want to grind this way more than once a day, or a week, or a month like me. Anyway, that's the biggest problem with the collector's role in my opinion. If you are doing it without interactive map, it's not super profitable and pretty random. It's still profitable, but not extremely. But if you are doing it with the interactive map, it super fast becomes tedious grind, at least for me. The next role we will be talking about is Bounty Hunter. To make some profit you should make legendary bounties here, because regular missions are not extremely profitable in terms of dollars and also they are not super fun. That's again my opinion. Here I will use data from my Discord server, since there are many people who are doing legendary bounties regularly there. The most profitable way of doing legendary bounty missions is to spend 30 minutes on each of them and of course making 5 star legendary bounties. And you will earn 0.48 gold bars, 1500 experience points and on average $190. Completing some missions like Etta Doyle will grant you more dollars, 225, and some missions like Barbarella will grant you less amount of dollars, but average number across all the legendary bounties is 190 dollars. 
So per hour you will earn 380 dollars, one gold bar and 3000 experience points. Plus, additionally, you will earn some money from looting dead enemies and some experience from killing enemies. So the benefits of bounty hunter role, that's the only role that allows you to earn gold. Of course you can earn gold with any role by completing daily challenges, but that's not the same. Also it's quite challenging and has a lot of replayability, because there are many different 5 star legendary bounties. And that's the most interesting role to play in a team with your friends, not solo. But there are many problems with bounty hunter role as well. Yes, profit per hour is decent, but it's extremely unstable, so sometimes you will die during this mission and your earnings per hour will suffer a lot from that. And even if you are good and never dying during these bounty hunter missions, you still can get disconnected and you will lose all the profit. Plus, since we are talking about the average result, we should consider the fact that average player would have to use many tonics during legendary bounty missions with 5 stars just not to die and tonics are also can cost you some money. And in addition, there is a cooldown between legendary bounty missions, so you aren't able to grind them non-stop. With that being said, I'm pretty sure that this $380 is far from the average result. It's pretty good result and average will be much lower. But anyway, Bounty Hunter is the most profitable role if we're talking about earning gold. Let's talk about the Moonshiner role now. In my calculation, I will be crafting strong Moonshine with a 2 star flavor, because for a 3 star flavor we would have to use a collectionable alcohol that we have to find and it makes the process a little bit harder. But for a 2 star flavor we can buy all the ingredients pretty much always and they will cost us almost nothing. Also we would buy mesh for $50, which is the maximum price, because reducing the mesh price takes some time and it's just not worth it. Anyway, we will earn $227 by selling this moonshine when it's done and we have to spend $50 for a mesh and like $7 for materials and teleportation. So we will make a profit of $170. And on average we will have to spend from 5 to 7 minutes on all this process. It's around 2 minutes to teleport to your bar and set up the process and another 3 to 5 minutes to make a delivery. So we will be earning $170 per 6 minutes of our action, because when the moonshine is getting ready, we are free to do some other stuff and earn money in some other way. It means that as a moonshiner we are making insane $1700 per hour if we are counting only time when we are actually doing something. And I would say that that's the average number for all players, because Moonshiner role, unlike some others, requires no skill at all. After few deliveries you will learn how to deliver all the bottles without breaking any of them, even if you get stopped by engines. And that's two biggest benefits of a Moonshiner role. First of all, you're getting paid with insane amount of money for your actual time spent. And second, this role is pretty easy and there is some stability in your results. I'm pretty sure there won't be much deviation. But there are a few negatives about the Moonshiner role as well. First of all, if some random griefer will decide to blow your Moonshine, there is nothing you can do about it and you will earn zero dollars. And second, you are not making any gold from this role and you making very low amount of experience. Plus replayability is debatable, I mean all these deliveries are pretty much the same and it's kinda boring. But you know what, as long as I'm making $170 per 6 minutes, I'm absolutely fine with the process being not super interesting. That's what she said! <laughs> 
Now let's talk about the trader. Again, we will be talking about average numbers for this role. You can make one short distance delivery in 4 hours. And if you are playing solo or you don't have many friends, I don't suggest you to make a long distance deliveries because you will be robbed too often and your profit rate will drop significantly. Anyway, from these 4 hours. 320 minutes are required to creeps to actually make some goods, 10 minutes it will take to make a delivery and 30 minutes on average it would take to make a 4 resupply missions. And we are earning $500 for a short distance delivery, which leads us to $125 per hour. Not impressive, but again, out of these 4 hours we only have to do something for a 10 minutes when we are making the delivery, 30 minutes for a resupply missions and around 60 minutes for gathering materials for creeps. So actually we are doing something only for 100 minutes and that's a pretty average result. On a PC for example I can gather materials much faster than in one hour and resupply missions are also can be done faster. But still we are calculating the average number. So actually for doing something we are getting $300 per hour. Again, not impressive. And I mean compared to the other roles. But there is an interesting way to make much more money out of the trader role. And people in Russian language Discord are doing this all the time. It's called Caravan. What's the idea? When you have a big delivery ready, you are finding 6 other players with a full big delivery ready. And then you help them to deliver their goods and they help you to deliver your goods. That's how you are not only getting protection from random griefers, because you are delivering with a full party of 7 people. But also for each delivery help you are getting paid half of the price, which is $312. So your final profit will be $2500 and you have to spend 100 minutes as previously to get your goods ready and additional 90 minutes to help with 6 other deliveries, which is around 15 minutes per delivery. That's average number, sometimes you will have to wait people and stuff like that. Anyway, in 190 minutes you are making $2.5000, which is equal to $790 per hour which is even more than with the collector's role. But here we were talking about the time when we are actually doing something. If we will calculate the total time that is required to make this caravan delivery, it will be at best 5.5 hours. Plus, even in a big community, and in my Russian language community there are 14,000 people, it's not always gonna be possible to find other people that are ready to do the caravan delivery. So the profits here are not really stable, unlike with a collector's role. Other negatives. Sometimes you will be still attacked by the griefer and even though you have 7 people in your squad, they will be able to blow your delivery and you will earn much less money. On the other hand, trader, unlike bounty hunters, is protected from disconnects. If you are getting disconnected, you are losing absolutely nothing. And disconnects in this game happens much more often than griefers. But you know what happens a lot to different bugs. For example, creeps isn't placing a camp or your camp just disappears when you are delivering few free star carcasses. And these problems will also decrease your earning rate with a trader role. And the final negative. In my opinion, the caravan grinding is even more tedious than the collector's interactive map run. But different people have different opinions, so it's up for you to decide. In conclusion, the most profitable role in Red Dead Online if we're talking about earning gold is without a doubt Bounty Hunter. The best role for grinding experience points is the Collector role. The biggest amount of dollars per hour for actually doing something you will earn with the Moonshiner role. 
Most dollars will be earned per hour in general with the collector's roll. And the maximum available profit per 24 hours goes to the trader roll with doing caravans. You can earn more than $10,000 in 24 hours with a non-stop caravan grinding, although I don't suggest you to do so in real life. And now you have the answer to the question, which role is the most profitable in Red Dead Online. So I hope you will find this video useful and enjoy it. And as always, thank you for watching. See ya. Goodbye.